Hi, in today's video we're going to be looking at how we can use the Stream Deck to change articulations in Spitfire Audio sound libraries. Hi, I'm Ewan and welcome back to the channel. Now, before we go much further, this channel is doing really, really well and I'm really, really pleased at how much people have been dropping comments and getting in touch about different aspects of the channel. This is where this video came about. It was all about people who had been engaging with my version one of the Stream Deck. Now, on the basis of all your comments and feedback on version one of the Stream Deck profile, I thought I would do another one that used a bit more of the features of the Stream Deck and allowed you to be able to use and control the articulation switches much more effectively and efficiently. So we're going to demonstrate what this new profile looks like and the kind of things that you will need to have in order to for it to make it work on your computer as well. So here we have the template which we've used. We've got in the Stream Deck profile manager and also a top-down view of the Stream Deck that I'm going to be pressing. What we're going to be doing is there's three in the ones I've got here. We've got BBC Symphony Orchestra, Abbey Road 1 and a work in progress which is the Eric Whitaker Choir Sound Library. It's quite large so I'm taking a little bit of time to make sure that I get that absolutely perfect and absolutely correct. We're going to go into the BBC SO and you can see all the different instruments and such like here. So basically it corresponds with each of the different instrument groups that you might be using in a particular template or in a particular sequence of music and there's a couple of icons down here on the bottom left which as you can see the chain link icon and a button to open and close the plugin as well. Those were actually carried over from my previous profile and they work amazingly well. Now in addition to the profile I will include the key presses file within this as well so in the link in the description below check out both the file for the Stream Deck software as well as the key commands file that you'll find for Logic that you will require for making this work. Okay so we're going to go into the strings and as you can see we have got all the different articulations for the strings but you can't see this on the screen yet so we're going to press the BBC SO the actual plugin you just press this button here and the plugin will open and you press it again and the plugin will close. When you've got the plugin open you'll notice that on the top right hand side of the window there is a little key chain icon which if you press this button the purple light will shine on and what that means is if you cycle through all the different tracks which I will just do so in the background you'll be able to see that those will change depending on whatever instrument you've got open. So sticking within the strings then we're going to uh, unlink that and we're going to turn that switch off and we're going to close the profile. So that's the first two buttons of this profile which is grand. So we're going to open the plugin again and we're going to cycle through. Now you'll see here I've got all of the articulations. Okay and there's about 22 articulations depending on which instrument that you use. So cycle through each of these and you'll see that on the screen it will change the articulation on the plugin and it means you can cycle through from one page to the next it means that in case of version one of this profile that I made I was basically putting in key commands and mouse movements to say click on this arrow move it across click on this selection and it was a bit unwieldy and it was a bit massive and it took at least two or three seconds now it's a single press of a button on the Stream Deck. And if we switch over to the other application, I'll show you how this is possible. So as you can see on the right hand side column, there is a set of MIDI instructions. It's called MIDI button and it can be added just by going to the bottom right, just what it says, more actions. You can scroll all the way down until you find MIDI button and then you can add this to the Stream Deck software. That allows you to be able to drag over the various MIDI signals and MIDI instructions to the Stream Deck to turn it into a MIDI input device. What we'll do next is we will have a little go of recording some Thing to show you what that would be like. So I can just simply close the articulation window and I can just select an actual track that we can use. So you get the idea there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to record a little bit and I'm going to show you what it would be like to record and then play back based on what you have recorded using this existing Stream Deck profile.
let's play that back. So this has lots of applications, quite powerful as well. So if you are limited on system memory and you don't want to load every articulation in, but you would like a violin to be one linear instrument using lots of articulations, then this could be an option for you to be able to make each of those lines more authentic and also provide your players with a bit more of an experience when they are using the parts as well. Let's show a little feature then next of the Abbey Road 1 Studios and show you how that works with this particular sequence of sounds. So on the Stream Deck, you will see that we just click back and you will click back again and you'll see we're back at the three libraries. So click on Abbey Road 1 and you can see the bottom right again, I've included the two symbols, one for the chain link, so making sure you can cycle between tracks and it's all there, as well as the Abbey Road 1 open. So we're just gonna click that open. Now the reason why I can open the Abbey Road 1 is because I have selected the track for that particular sound library on the screen. So yes, there is a little bit of a mouse click required, but it's fairly straightforward. Once you click that open, you're then able to select. So we're gonna go into the Abbey Road 1 profile and we're gonna use brass, I think, this time just for a bit of variety. And you can see that all the articulations that are associated with the brass sounds will be on the screen. And you can see that matches the plugin as well. So we can click staccato of these. All seven of these work in a cycle, just like that. Very, very, very useful for you to be able to use and cycle through those as well. And the same idea goes as well. Once you've recorded, you can then use the same line for the brass and then it will work. This is the more efficient version and the one I will think that you as composers will enjoy using, especially as it's so feature rich and so simple to use. If you've liked this, please drop a thumbs up below and do comment if you have used the old profile. And if you'd like to use this one, comment below as to what you think the profile is like. Any improvements would be welcome as well. And of course, go and have a go of trying out to create your own MIDI key presses in your own stream decks and let me know how it goes as well. And as ever, thank you, I've been Ewan. I've been here to help make your music masterpiece. If this is something you would like, then please hit subscribe either on the bottom right of this video or on the subscribe button on the channel page. And I look forward as always to seeing you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. The video on the top is one that I think you will love and the one in the bottom is one that YouTube thinks you will enjoy. If you would like to know more about how to make your music masterpiece then don't forget to click like and subscribe. See you in the next video next week. Bye bye.